Hey guys, it's Ron. Um, I was in here today cleaning up. You don't want to see the mess. You really don't. Um, I had a little disaster and something fell off of this cabinet here and landed on the hood of my wife's car and now I got four dents in it. So I was in here messing around, moving things around, cleaning up and trying to get down to my next project here that will be coming out pretty soon. And I started taking a break and sitting on the couch and doing nothing, so I thought I'd cruise Craigslist. Well, anyway, when I was cruising Craigslist, this ad came up, this guy has some machinist stuff he wants to sell, so I gave him a call and I'll show you what haul I got. Okay, you guys ready for this? Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, like I said, I'd taken a break and going in and hearing this and that about getting my wife's car. And anyway, so I thought, what better way to fix? Yeah, I'm still going. Old wounds. Besides spending money. See if I get the leaning tower going here. No, I'll start another pile. Okay. The gentleman that I went to see today, his name is Neil. And he was getting rid of some of his tools. Let's go ahead and start with the items that are not in a box. Yeah, I got this little pad here so I won't be bouncing stuff all over the place, but I got this cold chuck. This is going to be nice. It's going to go over in my mill. Keyless chuck. I'm going to have to make myself a tool holder that will handle this, or I'll have to get another one, but no. I'll just have to make a tool holder to handle that. That was pretty good. I got a nice Starrett large gauge. It's instead of having to lift it up here. Oh, there we go. Instead of having to lift this up, you can you got the handle here, you can pick it up. Very nice. I got that. I got a quill stop for my mill. Got myself a little insert tooling. Let me see. I got a set of Craftsman telescopic gauges. They're smaller, but they'll work just fine. You notice I'm not mentioning price. Well, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Seriously. And this is going to be for tramming my milling machine. You set this up here and your quill and put the gauge on the end of this and you can run it around. You can get a large sweep with this thing going on. He made this and so I took that home too. This here is a central tool company. Okay, where's my glasses? I need glasses. This here is a central tool company. And I got everything that's in here. Nice little back plunger. So that. I got this tech lock dial gauge. Which is pretty cool. Looks almost like the ones you get at Harbor Freight, but it's not. It's made by tech lock. I got that.
I got a Craftsman depth gauge, digital Craftsman depth gauge. Everything's still on the wrap. I mean, I don't even think it was used. It just, it's just perfect. Super smooth. So, comes with all the rods, still in the package. Nice. I picked that up there. I also picked up this Mitu Toyo. Depth. I know, I know. But isn't more better? I couldn't pass it up though. Mitu Toyo. This is really nice. That's just super smooth. Really nice. Um, there we go. And it comes with the rods and the wrenches and everything. And then, let's get my pocket knife here. I got these. I mean, there's some really, really nice cutters in here. These have not been used. Um, it's a 5 8 diameter Accu lead, but I don't even know if I want to use it. That thing looks just like a work of art. Yeah, I couldn't believe the tool score. Now I got to get back to working in the garage. Yeah, some some of these he was showing me, and they weren't even opened yet. So yeah, this one's got a little bit of use on it. I can see it's just a little discolored, but it's still nice and sharp. Yeah, I got a good deal on that stuff. Let's see, these are all uh, cobalt. There's even uh, even put in a little cutter for me, a little keyway cutter. But yeah, even this one here, this is this is a brand new one. Yeah, there's some nice little cutters in here. So anyway. Here's my tool score for the week. Hopefully, there will be more to come. Yeah, I'm still working on my video. It's it, it's coming. It's coming. Don't don't leave me too many nasty messages. So I just can't believe what I got for what I got it for. I really can't. And I thought I'd share it with you. I just got home. That was the first time I took the stuff out of the bag. This insert cutter is going to be really nice. There's a whole pack of inserts here. I mean, this keyless chuck alone was worth the price. I mean, thank you, Neil. I really appreciate it. I seriously appreciate it. Well, yeah, I'm doing it again. I'm staring at my stuff. I can't help it. I just went inside the house and started cruising through Craigslist and I thought I'd take a break and bam, it popped up. There was another uh, deal that I had through Craigslist that I drove 96 miles one way and it turned out the guy worded the ad incorrectly, even after we exchanged messages. So I made a 200 mile round trip for nothing. Anyway, so this more than makes up for it. Thanks for joining me. Don't miss my video coming out soon. I just thought I'd throw this one out there really quick. Um, I'm working on the bandsaw, so it'll be coming really soon, guys, okay? Thanks for joining me for this short 
level tool score. Okay, have a great day.